Hello, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 2nd, 2019, Groundhog Day. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. A very cold one here in Alberta. A little fun with boiling water and the freezing temperatures. And our groundhog did see his shadow, so looking for an early spring. We shall see. We're doing a science experiment. We've got boiled water here, two big bottle of water. We're gonna go up front, ready? Oh. Can you it's minus 25 right now with the wind chill. Lots of these experiments being done on YouTube and all over other places. It's cold. Yeah, it is. All right, so I want you to have a good distance from me. Hot. I gotta hurry up and pour it out. Okay. Go. Wow. That was just a bottle of hot water. I've seen I've seen other videos about this. But seeing it in, per in person was it's so cool. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. Cause yeah, it went like around. And then afterwards, wow. Gotta have fun. Stay young and have fun. Little experiment with your kids. Good thing I remembered the keys. Yeah. And around the world we go here. Looking at our five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth and Meteo Mike. Still overlooking Pacific Ocean, large low pressure systems developing again. And later in the week, it should be a very nasty storm. Almost hurricane force winds coming with this storm through Japan and then into parts of Kamchatka and Russia, then proceeding to Alaska. Northern Hemisphere jet stream is so wonky right now. And now we've got this huge low pressure. Northwestern United States bringing flooding conditions to California and more snow on the backside of this storm. So watching for disastrous conditions throughout California, flooding and as well high snowpack possible avalanches. So stay aware and prepared Northwestern United States as this large low starts to hammer you over the next three days. And the cold temperatures, of course, are invading Alberta now. Minus 20 or minus 31 outside right now with the wind chill. But man, it feels really cold. Watching very large system here over the Atlantic Ocean heading into the North Pole later in the week keeping my eye on this storm multiple vortices joining joining forces to create this large low pressure system tight isobars mean very windy also watching extreme temperatures and heavy snowfall parts of Pakistan Mongolia Turkey as well and still this large low pressure center over the northeastern part of Australia and Queensland Townsland all being flooded out right now God bless everyone who is being affected by these extreme weather events from around the world as we are just trying to adapt to our new climate new jet streams and new weather events like atmospheric rivers. This long monsoon line of moisture 
As well, we've got two tropical cyclones developing over the next three to five days as well. One heading to Madagascar and the other one following right behind. I'm thinking that these two might even join forces. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on these tropical cyclones the east coast or off the coast of Madagascar in the coming days. So yes, and of course, biggest topic, I got a huge video of the dam collapse in Brazil. There have been many disastrous events from around the world, and we're still watching mass evaporation in South America. North Pole, very cold. It's supposed to be, it's winter time, but come on. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Very busy 24 hours, to say the least. We had all this movement. San Andreas fault line, Cascadia fault line, as predicted. San Clement Islands in California. Petrolia, California. Ferndale, California. Riverbend, Washington as well as Haines, Alaska. So very busy Cascadia, subduction zone. Largest earthquakes the last little while were the 5.4 in Tonga, 260 kilometer depth, as well as a 5.6 and a 6.1 Indonesia. The 5.6 was in Hindu Kush, Afghanistan, but many earthquakes today in Indonesia. Kind of concerning when we see large shallow earthquakes like that, expecting a big deep event soon. And the West Chile rise with a 5.5 today as well. So yeah, our planet is a rocking and I want to Thank all of my new subscribers from around the world. You've tuned in to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Trying to keep humanity aware and prepared. Much love to you all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please share with your friends and family from around the world. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Just the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. We had this 6.6 .6 yesterday in Mexico. Puerto Madero, Mexico. 67 kilometer depth at 6.6 .6 earthquake. I was working all day and I didn't get notified apparently for this one, so I missed out on the video yesterday. I apologize to those in Mexico, because that is a pretty big earthquake and I would have posted about it. But again, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to leave you tonight with images of our sun, watching that large incoming sunspot region. Stay aware and prepared. Space weather incoming. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.